Today, I'd like to make a pop-up animation that will reveal some text. Something that could potentially be used as an alert, like, hey, new follower. Maybe as a social pop-up, like, follow me on Twitter. But I would like to make it from scratch using only OBS Studio. Why? Why Because I Can. Is OBS Studio the best software to do motion design? Not a chance. But if you already have it, you already know how to use it, and you do not have a motion design software, well, you can do it too. Anyways, a quick message from our sponsor, and then we can begin. And today's sponsor is Own Pro. I talked about Own Pro before, but today I want to show you something that you can create for yourself in just a couple of minutes. It's just one of many options that Own Pro offers. So, I want you to go to own.gg slash pro. That's my special link. I want you to log in. If you don't have an account yet, you can log in with your Twitch account, okay? And I want to show you what you can do with a free account. To the left, you want to go to Scene Builder. You want to click on Complete Setup, Automatic Selection, then just hover around and find something that you enjoy. We're going to stick to the free category, and you're going to see that the overlays are actually available in like nine languages. Anyway, so we're going to click on it once, then we're going to click on Create Scenes. It actually also offers you an alert box. You can click this, now enter your social links, and guess what? Your whole setup is complete. You have your starting soon screen, your ending scene, your BR back scene, your general overlay for like gameplay and stuff, and you even have an intermission scene. Starting soon scene is gonna look like this. You can modify it, move things around, do whatever you want. Intermission scene looks like this. You can also use it as a gameplay scene. Now all you have to do from there is basically click the link and add them as browser sources in your OBS and you're good to go. And that was just one of many things that Own Pro offers. I'll let you check it out over at own.gg slash pro. That is own3d.gg slash pro. Okay, so I wanna make something clean. I want a rectangle like this to blink three times. One, two, three. And then while it's like that, I want it to collapse to the left like this, revealing our text. Then I want it to wait, maybe add a little bit of animation to the text. Maybe it's zooming in or out or left and right, whatever. Then it's going to fully expand again before finally collapsing to the left little bar like this and bloop, nothing else. So in text, blink three times, collapse to the left, revealing the text, wait four seconds, expand, hide the text, collapse to the right. So technically this is what it's gonna do. Green being chronologically, so one, two, three, four, five, on off, on off, on off on the rectangle. And then simultaneous is mostly going to be when the text is going to appear and disappear at the same time that the rectangle is doing its stuff. So let's do it. In OBS Studio, I'm gonna create a new scene and we're gonna use a color source for our rectangle. I'm gonna call it pop rectangle. We're gonna choose a color. I'm gonna go white. And for the size, I want something kind of thin. Let's go 1600 by 400. Cool. I'm going to press Control D to center it. And while we're at it, why not add the text? Text, I'm going to call it pop underscore text. Type whatever. As I said, it could be an alert. So if you use something like Streamerbot, this could be data. I'm going to give it a specific font. I'm going to press Control D to center it. Nice. And I'm going to make sure that text is behind. It doesn't matter. They're both white, but you never know. If you want to change the color of the rectangle, then text is going to be hidden. And now I'm going to use the move plugin to do everything. We're going to use the move source filter on the scene. So on the scene, you want to right click, go to filters, go to plus, and then find move source. Now remember the order, blink three times. So this is going to be turn it on. Okay. We want to make sure that we select the rectangle. I'm going to set the custom duration to 100 milliseconds and we're going to scroll down to find those options that let you play with the visibility. And of course, they're called visibility and order. So visibility here, we want to show at the start of the movement. So as soon as I click this, it's going to show it. We can even test it. If I put this to the side, I turn off my rectangle. I click. There it is. So now we have on. We need off. I'm going to right click duplicate. Call this one off. Scroll down to visibility and we want to hide at the start of the movement. OK, so on turns on, off turns off, on turns on, off turns off, on and off, on and off. So let's keep it going. I'm going to duplicate on one more time. Click OK. Now it's turning it on again. I'm going to duplicate off, turn it off again. Duplicate on. Now it's on again. So last on stays on. So we're finished with the blinking. This is the part where we want it to collapse to the left. But one thing must happen before it collapses to the left. And that thing is it needs to simultaneously turn the text on. So the two next filters need to be turn off the text and then collapse to the left. So let me add a move source. And this is going to be the turn on the text. So appropriately name it. Make sure that the text is selected as the source. 
Duration here doesn't really matter because it's just a trigger. So I'm going to put 10 milliseconds invisibility here. We wanted to show at the start of the movement. So to collapse it to the left, I'm going to add another move source. Source is going to be rectangle. I kind of wanted to take it sweet time to do it. So we're going to put 800 milliseconds. We don't really need to mess with the visibility. Instead, what we're going to do is select our rectangle, hold alt on our keyboard, click on that center right handle and drag it to where you want it to go. I'm going to keep it here. Then I'm going to scroll down and click get transform. So register the transformation here. OK, this is the part where it waits four seconds before expanding again. Now, what we can do since we're going to trigger the turn off text and collapse left pretty much at the same time, maybe we can set an end delay to the collapse left. Where is that end delay right there? And we can set that to 4000 milliseconds. And since the next step is to expand, we can just duplicate the five on because it has that information of the transformation, right? The shape, the scale is actually recorded in each and every one of those. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call it expand. I'm just going to make sure that there's no extra options that I don't need. For example, show at the start of the movement. Don't need that because it's supposed to be on already. Now for the timing, I want that to be a little more. So custom duration, let's say 500 milliseconds. But now that it's expanded, I kind of want the text to disappear. So let's make that happen. Let's duplicate the turn on text and turn it into a turn off text like that. Click OK and scroll down to visibility and that will be hide at the start of movement. Finally, we have collapse right, but we also have reset everything so that it's ready for the next time. We can start with the collapse right, of course. And for that, I'm going to click on five on. So it resumes the normal size here. I'm going to duplicate collapse left, except we're going to call it collapse right. And that is step number eight. I'm going to make that happen kind of fast too. I'm going to go with 500 milliseconds. And uh, remember, we had an end delay of 400 milliseconds here. We don't want that there. So let's go with zero milliseconds. And finally, we can actually collapse it. So hold alt to crop once again. And here you decide if you want it to just go away completely or maybe leave a little bar. I kind of like the, the whole bar thing, so I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe have it stay a little bit before it disappears. Let's go 100 milliseconds for the end delay. Hopefully that will keep it on. And then in visibility, we can say, hey, you know what? When you're done moving now, when the rectangle is blinking for the first time, it needs to be full. So it needs to be expanded, right? So I'm going to duplicate my expand here and I'm going to call it expand reset because that's the purpose and it's basically going to expand it while invisible and to make sure that it's invisible i'm going to set it to hide at the start of movement so if i click on it you see it turns off and it brings me back to normal so if i click on here off there on here off there on here and simultaneously is going to turn on the text collapse left Ooh, text is visible expand wait what expand OK, my bad. I clicked a little too fast. <laughs> I forgot to wait the four seconds secretly turn off the text, then collapse right. And that's why we test. I forgot to save the collapse, right? So I'm going to expand reset, hold alt, crop this, make sure that I have collapse right selected. Then I'm going to click get transform. OK, so if I go back to expand, let's say turn this on. So we're here. It's going to turn off the text, then collapse right. Just like that and delay a little too fast. Let's go 500 expand collapse, right? I like that and then reset. Let's go back. Boom, 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 one, two, three, four, and then plow and then sloop and then blah, 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 blah. and then blah, blah, blah. Now let's set it so I don't have to do this manually. I'm going to click on on for the first time and I'm going to tell it that the next move should be off. Put it off. Next move should be on three on three. Next move should be off four off four. Next move should be on five. Now during on five simultaneous move should be to turn on that text. But then the next move should be to collapse to the left. OK, then we have collapsed to the left with our big end delay, which is going to make it wait four seconds. And the next move for that is going to be expand. OK, so now it's full expands <laughs> and during expand simultaneous move should be turn off the text, hide it. And then the next move should be well collapse to the right. Step eight. 
And finally, after you're done collapsing to the right, reset everything. So next move, expand reset. Ta-da! So if everything went well, and I hope it, I hope it did, if I click on on here and I turn it on, it should do everything by itself. I'm gonna click and Little issue here, text doesn't seem to be properly centered. Also, there's a part where it turns off a little too fast. Let's try it again. There, after the four seconds, it doesn't wait for the expand. So let's troubleshoot it. If I click on collapse left, cause it happens right after, we can see that it takes uh, 800 milliseconds, which is nice. The end delay is four seconds. And the next move is expand. So expand 500 milliseconds, everything seems good, but the simultaneous move of expand is turn off text. And that's where the problem is. So when I click turn off text, what's the visibility? It's hide at the start of the movement. And the custom duration is 10 milliseconds, which is ultra fast. Expand is 500 milliseconds. Turn off text is 10 milliseconds. I'm gonna set this to 500 milliseconds, and then I'm gonna tell it to wait basically to the end of it to hide it. So hide at the end of the movement at the end of our movement let's see if that fixes it i'm just gonna click on nine to reset everything and it worked <laughs> it worked that's pretty much what i want now i would like for the text to be a little a little different though so i'm gonna turn that on uh, select it. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Control D to center. And I wanna make sure that I click Get Transform here. And in order to keep it the same size, I wanna make sure that I click on Turn Off Text and click Get Transform. Although, if I wanted to have maybe a little bit of scale, I could put the offset in between these two. Or maybe just movement, for example. Let me click on this. I'm gonna drag it to the right. And it's cool that I can see the outline of the actual rectangle so I know the boundaries uh, right about here. So I only moved it horizontally and I'm gonna click get transform. So that's my turn off text. If I click turn on text, this is where it goes back to, which means that the last position that the text is going to be is there. So if I want a slow movement, I could go to turn on text. Now I can play with the custom duration knowing that I don't have anything else being affected in the actions. I'm gonna put 3000 milliseconds. You just want to make sure that you, you just want to make sure that you run through this at least once so that the turn off text has been activated and it's actually in its final position. And now you can click, let me click away and boom. This is your animation made completely in OBS studio using the move plugin. If I wanted to add it to another scene, for example, my gameplay scene, it would look something like this. I would go to my gameplay scene, click on uh, add source, click scene, find the name of the scene, scene two for me, right there. I could turn it on and just place it wherever I wanna place it. And just like that, I have this little animation. Now, technically I could record this in OBS and just add it. And you might be thinking, oh, would it be a transparent video? First of all, yes, you can record transparent videos. I made videos about that. But even if it's not, if it's just black and white, you can just add the blending mode to add. <laughs> and it will remove all dark parts of the animation. You can also chroma key it to remove all the black color. 